Hey, what's going on, everybody? Blaze it here, coming at you with a uh, Grand Crest Con Quartet, Quartet, Quartet Conflict. I think I said that right. I always feel like I'm saying it wrong. But we got us another gotcha game brought to you by the company that loves to steal your money for stones and pearls the most, Bondi Namco. Let's get into it. All right, it's going to be like a first impressions video of it. And um, my first first impressions of this, and um, I'm going to just be blunt with you guys. I didn't like it at first. I'm gonna say when I got in, I played for about like the first 10 seconds. I hated the way it looked. I hated the way the characters looked. I hated everything about it. And I'm just like, I, I stopped playing it for like a week because I could play it like since last week. I just didn't touch it until now. I said, you know what? I'm gonna try to put the, char the ugly characters aside. They look nasty and pixelated. I'm gonna try to put it aside and just focus on the um, gameplay and see what happens. And, um,. Surprise, surprise, I actually liked it a little bit more when I uh, gave it a second chance instead of giving it 10 seconds. And, um, yeah, I really like it. It follows the story. For those of you who haven't seen the anime, you guys should uh, check the anime out. It's actually pretty good. The first part of it's kind of slow. It, it's to me, it, well, to me, it's kind of slow. There's some good moments in it, but it, it's kind of slow. It gets to a certain point, though, where it actually picks up and you see all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, you see some girl get uh, smashed under the moonlight. <laughs> on a beach or not a beach but on a, like an island or something with the ocean, sound of the ocean behind her and shit it's, it's it's crazy it's actually pretty good i was surprised well to me personally i like little anime like that where it's kind of like magic and old timey and nights and shit you know i like kind of stuff like that so it, it actually really caught my interest now this game is pretty good it's like mo most gotcha games you got your decks you got your upgrading characters. I haven't even gotten that far yet, see? You got your upgrading characters. Let's see what this is. Use character upgrade items to level up characters. Use same type items as your character or get great amazing success. Earn even more XP. So we got Theo right here. He's pretty much the main character. That girl Silica right there is the main heroine. You select materials and you guess you can click it since, uh, what type is he then? What about back out a little bit? Can I see what type he is? Okay. It says speed. So I'm assuming speed is blue because usually speed is blue in most games. I have no fucking clue. I only have two of them. I don't want to use all of them. Fuck it. The fuck I might as well use. Wait, how many of these do I have? Okay. Well, it didn't tell me how many I had. Whoa, well. I'm just going to hit confirm. See what happens. And this is how you force level up your characters. Cool. I always wanted to force level up characters. Now we unlock the vent. What's in here? Okay, let's claim these two. Oh no, wait. There we go. Claim these. I like that it takes 89 days for something to expire. Usually most gotcha games have 30. So that the fact that it takes 89 for something to expire is actually pretty good. We've unlocked the vent. Oh, who's the character? Okay, so the background usually changes for um depending on what's going on that's actually pretty cool too or depending on whoever is in the background level up a character 10 times i've done it 10 times already it's crazy that's pretty good too so let's get into the summoning aspect of it because i'm pretty sure most people care about that anyway uh, i'm not gonna summon on that i'm gonna summon this one right here because it's a double chance for head start characters five star summon so um let's give me some five star characters because you know we got to start the game off right come on now Okay, so does that like turn into a rainbow possibly? If like you get a five star character? Because before I have four star characters, I uh. Okay, duplicates get your luck up. She the girl that got smashed on the island under the moonlight. <laughs> oh, I got her again. Cool. I like her anyway. She's actually kind of savage. Uh, you got a duplicate character. Luck increased by one. Okay, he's kind of a bitch. Uh, yeah, Margaret. I like Margaret in this. She was pretty cool. This the dude right here, Mills. I forgot his name. Oh my God! Thank God. This dude is a all is a complete savage. If you have not checked out this anime, just watch it just for him. <laughs> he is a fucking savage. All right, cool. I'll be sure to go farm up some more stones or whatever this game 
calls it. I think they call them crest stones. I'll be sure to go farm something up. I'm pretty sure there should be a lot of ways to um get some. And I wish it would let me claim it. There we go. All right, let's go get on to the gameplay aspect of it. The gameplay, like I said, I didn't like. I still don't really like how the characters look, but oh well, it's not te like terrible, I guess. It it does need improvement though. Um, who do I want to take? I guess it doesn't really matter. Shit. I'll take this dude right here since he is savage. Boom. Like I said, I like how everything else looks. It's just a character. You can skip these um, story times too. You don't have to sit here and watch these. Artist. Best suited for one on one combat. Artist incredibly powerful and can beat foes swiftly. Some specialize in attacks, speed, some in defense. I was reading that. Oh well, I don't care. Pretty much, you just kind of wipe up, you walk up to him, and you just tap the character icon and you swipe. You can hold the character icon down and do a special attack. His special attack is pretty much summons members of the team to help you. And after you do that, they pretty much just say, yeah, 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 we won, yeah, and that's pretty much over. I guess that keeps that from being way too overpowered, which I guess I understand. Because that would be overpowered if you could just have like an entire team with you to m help mow down everybody. Now in this game, you pretty much just stand still to block. I don't like that at all, but I mean, I guess it's alright. I guess. If you're in the middle of a combo, you can tap to switch into somebody. Boom. 50 KOs, whatever. I wish there was a way to dodge in this game because I have not seen a way to dodge yet. I thought like I could just swipe over and hope that would help me dodge, but nope, it hasn't. Let's see. Let's see. He's a savage. Pretty much what he did in the anime, just cut down every goddamn body. And they also have this quartet mode where you, all your characters jump in and they all just pretty much just beat the shit out of the I will say I like that towards the end when um after you beat in the um, enemy gets sent flying and they just land down. I do like that. But other than that, I still don't really like how the characters look like that. But I think I can get used to it. I don't think it's something that'll make, destroy my uh, expenses of the game anymore. We're gonna skip that, no one cares. We got the first time clear. We look like we get a crush stone every time we clear something. So it's actually pretty good. Let's back out and go see what other stuff is about in this game. We've seen the summoning, we've seen the gameplay now. Check the gift box, we've seen the gift box. You can do the um, clean all. You have missions also, like any other of these little gotcha games, where it's also a chance to collect some stones and other materials you may need to level up or uh, awaken characters. Uh, let's go to decks again. You can, okay, yeah, in this game, you need weapons too. I don't really like games that um, make it so you have to summon for the character, then you probably need dupes for the character, then you probably need weapons for the character. I don't like, like having to get weapons for the character. I'm one of those people who like to prefer to just get the character and be done with it. But, you know, I understand there need to be other ways to make money in this game besides just that. And there's a lot of shop in this game, too, so the shop is uh, open now. Last week when I tried to get into it, uh, I couldn't get into it. And I watched a video where some other guy couldn't get into it either. So I guess it's because the shop was needed to a, uh, another day for it to open. So now the shop's open. And um, speaking of shop, let me go look at these. I didn't really look at the uh, stone prices. A dollar for 10, three for 30, six for 65. Okay, so you need to pay $24.99 pretty much for a one free multi. Okay. And if you want, uh, damn, 70 for 790. I don't know about that. Let's see what this one is. Quartet XP character, one of the gold quest for 30 minutes. Okay, and this is just the XP booster and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And it costs 25 of the um, crest stones. I hope they change that in the future to where it can, um, Use other forms of currency like money or you can grind up, collect stuff. I don't care. Whatever it is. 
And now let's go to the uh, events. What is the events tab? I've, no, I'm not seeing that yet. I'm assuming that's probably just like events or just like a little side quest the games usually have. It's where you can farm free to play characters or you can farm. Uh, la, la, la. Okay, yeah, daily quest. Complete daily quest to collect upgrade items, the gold, the quest, the daily charge daily. So be sure to miss one. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um, New Crossroads Part 1. What's this one? Okay, includes these three characters in your deck events to get more rewards. Okay. Okay, so yeah, there is this is a way for you to farm free to play characters. This is a way to farm good free to play characters for right now. I'm assuming you could probably farm this dude from this quest or something, and then here's his um weapon right here. Which you can uh, drop on anybody. Okay. Previous ranked battle results only. What are you talking about? This is over already? Damn. The game's only been out for like a week now, hasn't it? Well then, alright. What's the upgrade? Alright, sorry about that, y'all. I had to cut that part out right there. I got a call during the uh, video. <laughs> but uh, let's get into it. Uh, look, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, events. You pretty much farm this stuff right here to stockpile on shit. So let's stockpile on the uh, intelligent stones right here. Never know when I'm gonna get a good character for that. Let's start. Um, let's start right here. Let's start something s simple. Let's let's test the waters with this. I don't want to jump in too crazy and then um, we get destroyed. People already got five star characters. I don't want one. I wish you could just start the game with a free five star character. I really do. I hope that we get one if you beat story mode or something like that. If you still haven't pulled one. We got the step up summons, but like how often did this game offer me crush stones? They've also unlocked auto battle now, so I should be able to just auto it and see what happens. Because you need to get to a certain point to unlock auto battle. Auto's too damn close to pause. I'm a Okay, yeah, I was looking. I was like, where is he doing? So let's see what happens on the auto. Actually, let me switch to this. Damn. There we go. This is great. This is great. Okay, yeah, he's cutting him down. Is it, does it ever end? Like, <laughs> okay, you said the numbers are dwindling perfect. Because I was wondering. I was like, does this ever end? Okay, yeah, there we go. I want to use my special attack too. Jesus Christ, how many of these fucking enemies are there? This is way too long for an easy quest. Like, what's this dude can do? There we go. Jesus Christ. Did y'all come on and die already? This is just the easiest one, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm just gonna chill here then. Damn, that was sweet. Good thing I had him out on the field. Okay. Okay, I see the time up in the corner. I just now noticed the time up in the corner. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm crazy. Okay, so I guess you got to just sit here and you just survive until the time goes out. And you just collect as much as you can. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I wish you would just get like a fixed amount so you could just farm it faster, but oh well. Oh no, okay, I actually beat it then. Uh, I didn't need the time to run out. It just takes a long time for some time. For some reason, okay. Rank went up, that's cool. 
Yeah, they see cleared in two minutes. No, nope. I'm not gonna come back and do that. I'll come back and do that at a later time when I have some more powerful characters. I don't have any powerful characters right now, so yeah. What's in the gift box? I keep almost hitting claimed. I wish they gave me enough for two free multis, but I guess they want me to just grind up the rest or pay for some money, huh? All right, that's cool. Let's get out of here then. We seen what events look like. Cause this video is already dragging on long as hell. We seen what events look like. They also have guild stuff too, but I haven't got there yet. And they also have some old campaign modes. But since this is a first impressions video, I think it's fine. I think it's perfectly fine that we haven't unlocked everything. It's just the first impressions. Just seeing what I think so far. So far, so good. I'm actually might keep playing it because it's not that bad. And I'm actually getting used to the characters. But uh, if you guys like this first compressions video and you actually want to see some more of this game, make sure you guys tell me in the comment section below. But uh, that's going to be it for this video right here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. This be your boy Blazehood. Peace out.